All right, continuing on. Pardon me, y'all. So chapter 19 of Psalms, verse 28. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. According to your word. According to Christ. He is the word. And he became manifest in flesh. Remove from me the way of lying. Remove from me the way of lying. Remove lying away from me. Pull it out. Yank it out. Throw it away into the fire. Set it ablaze like a bonfire. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me, in front of me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. O Yahweh, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge, enlarge, enlarge my heart. And I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart and soul. Teach me, O Yahweh, the way of thy statutes, and I will keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yeah, I shall observe it with my whole heart, with my whole soul, and with my whole strength and might so invested in me. Through my Savior, Yeshua, where things are all possible and miraculous instantly. Instant healing. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments. Make me to go in the path of it. For therein do I delight. And his commandments do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies. And not to needs, wants, lusts, and covetousness. Which are all forms of temptation. And arts of seduction. Which mean deception. And who is the great deceiver? The great adversary. You know his name. We rebuke him in the mighty name of Christ Yeshua and through the word of God, which is the blood of the Lamb. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity. Things are vain and, and uh, obsolete and inconvenient and unprofitable. What the heck is a dollar going to do for me? What is a house and, and all this stuff going to do for me if I don't keep God's law? What is a car going to do for me? A, a, a good wife and the children and the family without God. What is life without God? Well, what's the whole point of gaining the whole world but lose your soul? This life is temporary. What don't you, got, what don't you guys get? We, we hear about deaths every day. The word death exists for a reason. To let you know this is temporary. What's the point of gaining the whole world but lose your soul, man? Are you willing to let your pastor bring you to hell? Then let it be. If I was you, I'll do my own due diligent research and be curious about all things. Ask questions. Never just take hook, line, line and sinker without questioning, Hey, I wonder if there's a hook in that meat and that food throwing bait at you. So turn my eyes away from beholding vanity and quicken, which mean awaken me in thy way. Wake me up to your way. Wake me up from my sleep and slumber. Establish thy word. Establish thy word unto thy servant, which is me, Yeshurel, who is devoted to thy fear. I live in the fear every day. I purposely do. To fear the Most High, to fear what He might do, to fear disobeying them like a, a child is afraid of disobeying their parents. Once that fear is gone, obedience is gone. Fear the Most High, dread them, be afraid, be terrified, tremble when you hear this. Be humbled and low, look down when you hear about Him. Feel a certain way. I feel a certain way saying this stuff. Bring down, bring down all haughty look and proudful boastfulness. Bring your chest from up here to down here when you hear the word of God. Because you know you haven't keep these words. And I know I haven't. I testify and tell the truth. I am a sinner. And I'm working on it. I'm working on fixing myself. I, I hope the Most High opened my eye up to His way like He already have done already. But I like to say that my eyes are still half open still. Half open. So I have more room to open. And learn. And fill. 
So verse 39. So the, the be devoted to the fear of the Most High. Turn away my reproach. Fear also means to revere. Revere the Most High. Hold Him in honor. To put Him before everything, before all you do. Before sex, before money, before food, before everything. So verse 39. Turn away my reproach which I fear. For thy judgments are good. His judgments are good. Keep them. Behold. Beheld. I have longed after thy precepts. I have desired for his precepts like a woman. She's my wife. She's my children. I shall fight for her. Through spirit, in spirit, in truth. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Awaken me to what's right. Let thy mercies come also upon me. May it rain upon me. May your blessings and mercy rain upon me, Father. O oh, Yahweh, Ahiah, even thy salvation, Hawashai, Yeshuai, Yahawashai, which means the Lord is my salvation, the Most High is my salvation. He is my salvation. According to thy word, Yeshuai. So shall I have 